Hello everyone, I'm Tanishka from class 6 of Shishya BMF Public School and today I'm going to show you how can you make calculator in code to play. So let's begin. You need to start a new project and you need to name it as calculator. And so this app will basically do all the calculation that includes addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. You just need to write your two numbers in the text box. And when you click on addition, they will add same equals the rest three one. So let's begin. So first of all, you need to drag and drop a label from the palette section of the user interface. I mean the user interface of the palette section. And then you need to change the text to calculator. Okay. And then font size can be increased to 50. And one more thing you need to do before that is you need to align it in the center either way, this way. Then you can also change the text color, the background color, whatever you wish to, this way. And then after that, you need to go to the layout. From the layout, you need to drag and drop a horizontal arrangement. From there, you then need to, from the user interface, you need to get and drop a text box and a label beside it this way. So the text for label 2 is going to be enter your number here and, and this way and the text book is uh, a hint you can just uh, clear it up and the width of the text book can be around 100 pixels you don't require anything more than that and for the horizontal arrangement the width is supposed to be apparent. The background color can be changed. And the font size you increase it so that it fits here. And then this is not enough, so we'll just change 100 to 150 pixels. It doesn't change because it is font size, so we have got to make it 15 again. So, this one is enough. This is supposed to be 150 pixels, and this is this way. And, I, and then the same way you, you need to duplicate it. It's by getting it again. Horizontal arrangement, and the label, and scroll down in the text box inside this and this again the properties with double parent this with the, the hint should be cleared it is supposed to be 150 pixels and then this is supposed to be and the uh, your Second number here, and then the background color again. I'll make it to green so they look similar. So I also change the screen background color maybe to orange. Okay, so now after this, again you need to do the same thing, but this time you're going to use something that's a bit different. This way you need to get another horizontal arrangement. And this time you are supposed to get two labels. Oh, not even. It's supposed to be two labels. You can just delete it. Okay. Two labels. Label 4 and then label 5. Label 4's text is supposed to be result. Result 
and the label is 5 text is supposed to be 0 because no number is entered yet and then this horizontal arrangement 3 you can make the width fill parent and this 0 that you have here should be of the same size as this so 150 pixels and ok this, uh, we'll make this 170 pixels so uh, fill parent you can make it actually because this looks big so we'll also increase the height so we um, 50 pixels because the result is supposed to be big bold and this can also be done this font size we will make it 50 so there's a number fits here the background color can be changed and the number you can do is 40 and then you need to bring four buttons on a table arrangement you can also use two horizontal arrangements for that so a table arrangement is below it here again from the user interface one two three and four so button one is supposed to be addition you can just put a plus symbol over there or right addition this is supposed to be subtraction this is supposed to be multiplication for multiplication symbol if you're using a laptop you can use an X still will work as multiplication this way and then the table arrangement you need to click on it the this default will be uh, two rows and two columns and let it stay like that width can be fill parent and this is supposed to be 160 pixels both of them 160 pixels then so they go this way we can also change the background color this way here also you can change the shape size etc that's up to you and Yeah, so here our design is ready for app. You need to enter your first number in this text box. Here your second number and you get your result over here when you click on any, any of these buttons. So let's start programming. But before that, what we can do is you can change the names of some buttons. So button 1 to be renamed as add. Button 2 can be renamed as sub. Button 3 can be renamed as Mult and Button 4 can be named as Division still and then another thing is this, this one which is label 5 it can be renamed as these are the things that you need to like rename other things are just to show not. And you can also rename the text box so I'm also going to name it as number one so here I should dot I'm going to use an underscore number one second one is supposed to be number two then okay I one second did the same mistake. Number two. Okay, so these are the things you needed to rename. These one, two, three, four, five, six. Select all the blocks and do the math and get a plus operator. And from that, 
you need to scroll down and from number one you need to take number one text which can also be negated to plus number two text so this is for add now you need to duplicate it size so that you get four copies of the same thing and now you just need to change the properties of some This is a piece of subtraction, multiplication, division, and this instead of plus you need to get subtraction. You just need to delete them and get subtraction. Number one minus number two. The mat need a multiplication. Then you need to get a division operator. And this is all you require for this. So, thank you.